Hello everybody, in today's video we'll be going over your PRB lab. Your PRB stands for phenol red broth. Here you'll be given three test tubes with a red liquid inside, each of them containing either glucose, sucrose, or lactose. And then all three test tubes will also have phenol red as your pH indicator, as well as peptones. You will also notice that inside the test tube, you have a smaller inner test tube that is upside down. You wanna make sure to take careful observation of this inner test tube and make sure that there are no gas bubbles in there at all. If there's no gapids, it should be the same color as the broth. Now, of course, there may be just a very little bit amount, but you wanna make sure that that amount is as minimal as possible because if there is some sort of gas in here, it will throw off your results later on. And to prepare each of the test tubes is a simple aseptic transfer technique where you're gonna be using a loop to gather isolated colonies, probably from a plate, in order to place them into each of the three broths. Go ahead and do that for each of the test tubes as well as each of the bacteria that you will have for observation label your test tubes and place them in the incubator for observation. When you come back for observation, you're gonna be looking for a few things. The first thing that we're gonna look for is a color change. In your test tubes, you're gonna to wanna to look for if you have a pink or a yellow color change. Now, pink is a little bit more difficult to notice. So what really helped me out when I did this lab was taking a controlled test tube of PRB, and it doesn't matter which sugar is inside of it, you just want one that hasn't been inoculated. Place it directly next to the pink one or the suspected pink one and place a piece of blank paper behind it. That way you can tell more clearly if you have a color change or not. And if you do have a color change from red to pink, this indicates to us that the pH in the broth is above 7.4 and it indicates that we have alkaline end products. However, if your test tube is yellow, as we have over here, this indicates to us that the pH in the broth is now below or at 6.8 and this is consistent with acid end products. The other thing that we wanna look for is if we have gas production. And for this, we're gonna to wanna to turn to our Durham tube. So it doesn't matter whether you have a pink or a yellow test tube, you want to look carefully at the Durham tube and see if there's any gas production. It's also gonna be helpful if you grab a control and you can use the same one that you did to determine whether you have a pink color change or not and you wanna look inside the Durham tube of the control, as well as the Durham tube in your test results. Is there some sort of bubbling at the top here now, or some sort of gas there now that you didn't have before? And this is gonna be important for you to have a control because not every test tube is going to be perfect. There might be a little bit of gas, just a little bit, but these test tubes should have been prepared well enough that they have the least amount of possible and you should be able to see a visual change from this Durham tube to this one to indicate to us that we have a positive gas production test here, meaning that the bacteria produce gas and it's metabolic processes. And here are some questions that you can be expected to answer on your lab practical. Now feel free to answer those questions down in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe, and don't forget to check the description for additional study materials. And if you have any other questions, please leave those down in the comment sections as well. And I'll see all of you in the next one.